guys, um, it's me, Power Sapphire. Today, I'm going to show you how to make tuna taste good plain. See, um, I can't eat tuna without mayonnaise or relish, but I can eat tuna when I fry it. So, I'm going to teach y'all how to do that. So, let's get to the video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape, tape y'all up here. You're not going to be able to see me anymore. Tape you right here. Okay, so if you don't want to buy the expensive kind of tuna, just get this kind. It's tuna, the chunk light tuna, Clover Valley. Um, they can, you can get this at Walmart, Bilo, Reed, Win Dixie. You can get it anywhere. I have one that you can But first off, I'm only doing one. I'm using a small pan. See, it's a small pan. I'm going to put it on the stick burner because that's where it's going to take out. But really, you want to you open this up first. Get the pan opener. Any can of works. I have this, I have electric one, but I don't like the electric one, so I use this one. So what you want to do is you want to open the can. This is what it looks like. We're not cooking it with a lot of that stuff. But we're really going to cook it. Gonna drain it a little bit. Not all the way there. That's about it right there. That's not much. It just. Okay. So, what you want to do, cut your, um, your stove on to medium. Ask your parents to do this first. Do not start doing this until you finish the video or you ask your parents and you follow step by step of what I'm doing. So, Okay, so technically we're gonna start. Always okay, so I know I started off wrong. Don't use the palm of your hand, do this. And important step, we gotta wash your hands. Okay. So I washed I washed my hands. Um since it's getting warm. It's getting warm. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna take it. Like that. Really? You can use anything. But it works easier if you use a slotted spatula to do this. So, okay, first, get a spatula in your dominant hand and do this. Okay. So not seem to be cooking so cut it up to medium hot okay so we're gonna put some flavors in here some seasonings we're gonna put some minced onions some parsley fly on parsley flakes and salt and pepper so, Not a much, not a lot, just in the midst of onion. And let's see. Oh, I got some basil. Let's put some basil in there too. I 
I know your parents were always saying, oh, babe, the one par parsley is the same thing. It's not. I'm sorry, parents. You're wrong. They are not the same thing. They come from different places on the earth. And you can't really taste parsley leaves, and you can take them. I'm sorry if you're allergic to fish. Tuna is fish. So we're just going to cook this. So I'm not going to talk until this is done. So. Oh, okay, so we're going to put a little bit of something in there if I can, if we have it. So it's gonna start cooking like this. Okay, so butter makes everything taste better. So we're gonna put some butter in it. Um, this is good butter right here. It's it's cheap. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter in there. And be careful when you start cooking because. This is greased, and if it gets to the burner, it can it'll catch on fire. So everything tastes better with this stuff in it. We're gonna put a little bit more butter in it. So what you want to do when you put butter in it, you want to bring it in through. The, you want to bring it to the middle, and then. Get a little hole up in the middle. What you want to do is take some more butter. Sorry about this much. Put it right in the middle and let it melt. What that's going to do is when you let it melt, I want you to spread your tuna out like this. Because when the butter starts melting, the butter melts into a fat because butter is fat. So what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to expand into the tuna, into the bottom tuna, and I'm going to mix it in, not with my hands. I don't know why I'm doing that. With this spatula, mix it in. See how this looks? I don't know if y'all can really see that. Can y'all see it? Okay, I can see it just fine. But you see how it's mixing in right here? What you want to do is you want to spread the butter around and then take it. And then mix it in. You want to do it real fast so all of the tuna gets some butter. It's already smelling good. Okay. Not done yet. This is where the slotted, um, slotted spatula goes when you get into play. When you flip it, if you would have had a regular spatula, all the juice, all the butter, and all. Would have went on the spatula and would have probably would have came out. So slot it goes like it goes the butter and stuff goes through it just enough. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for at least five um, for a minute. <laughs> So you hear it, um, the, you hear that, that means it's working. Now tuna is very good for you. Um, I'm going to be honest, it loosens body fat. The fat that, if you're, if you're fat and you want to lose weight and you do this, it'll help lose body weight. Don't add butter. Do not add margarine. You can add a little bit of butter. This is indeed. Let me see where it says butter. This is gluten free. And it does not say butter on it. 
Had 30% of vegetable oil spread. That's that's good for you. Um, I don't see where. <coughs> I covered my nose. I did not sneeze on since I've been nasty. Okay, see, it's cooking really well. What you really want to do is just make it into a pack. doing that this is going to help with the moisture getting trapped into the tuna and it all coming to look so good and it tastes so good it's, it's going to taste really good when you're finished this 
put on baby. I'm I'm putting on um and then we're just gonna cook one today since I only cook one can you know, of tuna. So just grab one egg. Unless you use two on um, two cans of tuna, use two cans of egg. I'm sorry if I didn't give you measurements right, but uh, I do not do measurements. I just measure on my own and just scoop up and throw it in there. It's good. So you can make this either way. Um, I don't usually like scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna make scrambled eggs. Even though I, I usually don't eat scrambled eggs, I'm gonna no I'm not because we got no cheese. So we're just, I'm gonna make a fried egg. Not gonna. Make, Scramble. Sorry for the people that want to scramble. What you want to do is you want to just plop that baby right in there. Now, what you want to do is while this is cooking, if you want it over easy, you leave the go. If you want it completely done, which I want, you're going to take it and go chop, 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 chop that yolk up. So it cooks into the egg and not like it is. And then it runs everywhere while you're trying to eat. So yeah, that's we're gonna get that started. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up, like the butter and everything. Yeah, you can cheat a little bit. Take a bit. Take a bit of your tuna. I'm doing delicious, like always. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make me some the coffee while I got some cut. Coffee, coffee is a good way to use it. Coffee is a good thing to use for this meal. It's a breakfast meal. It also loses your weight. Not unless you use sugar. It's usually black coffee, but I don't use sugar. I use sugar, so I'm off the coffee. I'm not just losing no And all you boys out there that like this lady, I'm just going to tell you this, go for it. Do not wait because they're going to get taken. Don't wait. Go for it. Take a chance. If she says no, that's her loss. It's not yours. Don't, go, don't get put down by it. Just go for it. Now, I'm still in the 10th grade, so... You tell it's brown little, you want it brown enough. Don't burn it. Got me some nice coffee right here. And some of y'all are probably asking, well, what's the best coffee to use? Well, I got a solution. We use the red Folgers. It is amazing. I love Folgers. I would drink it all my life when I, since I was little. When I go to my Nana's house, that's what she uses. She'd be like, here, have some coffee. And I'd be like, 
Oh yeah, my name is Coffee, the best coffee in the world. No. Y'all Nana's might be the best poppy. I don't know. What? Okay, so now you got a brown in. We have a brown. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it. And we're just gonna sit it on. Just like this, and we're gonna eat it just like this. Now with the egg, you can use mayonnaise, mustard, anything you want, but the tuna you cannot. So do not use anything but tuna. You have to eat tuna just like it is. It's very good. Mm. That was very good. So yeah. I hope this video helped you with a lot of things. Um, take it off. I hope this video helped you with a lot of things. Um, it sure did. I did have fun cooking this. So yeah. Thanks. Like, comment, and subscribe. What do you want to see next? Bye. Peace out. Power out.